Boom. Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be doing Tomioko, Tomioka Gayu from Demon Slayer. So I've, I have a simpler one of them, just facing forward. This is kind of a more challenging one. He's got a sword in his hand coming around the side. Might be a bit of water breathing stuff. I'll do what I can. There's a couple of tubes of it, sort of that sort of paint like water stuff. So I might add some of that, but um, it's three quarter pose. So his head is kind of turned away from us a little bit. So it's a, it's a trickier pose. It's the hardest way to draw a face. So, you know, straightforward is pretty easy. Profile, pretty easy, but three quarter is a bit challenging. So definitely I recommend a pencil and an eraser for mistakes, right? So we'll start with the eye, right? So we'll start with his sort of big eye, the eye that's looking right at us, okay? So Demon Slayer, so center point to my page, the eye is like right along the center line. So the center point is about here and we're over to the right a little bit, okay? So we're just going to, let's like curve the line up like so. And then we're just going to bring it across real flat, right? He's got like, I don't know, he's just really calm looking, this guy, right? And so it's like real flat eyes, right? We're just going to thicken this up. So this like curves across and down. And they're black, right? So, so curve them in like so. And sometimes in Demon Slayer, you'll have like little bits of eyelash kind of sticking off there. Okay. So the bottom eyelid line. We're gonna go just down from here and up. And so real sort of thin eyes, like so. And then his iris, what we can see of it just in here, comes right down, touches the bottom eyelid, just there. And then his pupil, relatively big pupil, just there, right? And you can color this black. Okay, so then above that we got like an eyelid line just coming down. Like so, and then his eyebrow ticks across the top of that eyelid. Like so. And then we got a diagonal sort of section like that. So it's kind of like a check mark or a tick just there. And then this will come across the top and it gets thinner as we go back, right? So that's what you're going for. You're going for like a real thin at the back and it's black as well. And it goes underneath his hair. So you can't really see much of it back there. Like on this side. Okay. So our other eye, right, just over here. Now we're in three quarters, so his head is turned away, right? So we'll come across a little bit. We're not an eye width, we're about half an eye, right, in between the two eyes. So like half the eye will fit here, right? So you come across half an eye width, and we're gonna start the eye a little bit higher up, right? So it's in line with the top eyelid is where you start. So this curves up this way. Right. And we're going real, like real straight up, you know, it's like diagonal sort of line. We're going like more up rather than across because his head is like tilted and turned away from us, right? I know it's, it's a trickier way of drawing eyes, but it's because of the pose. It's good to learn how to do these kind of things as well. Then this eyelid comes back this way. Color it in and just add maybe a texture line or something there. So the bottom eyelid then comes out from here. Now look how high up we are. We're like right along that top eyelid, right? We're higher up. 
So that's not high. And this eye is smaller than this eye as well, right? In, in width, okay? Because it's turned away, it's perspective. So things that go away from you get smaller. So that's why this eye is smaller than this eye. And it's illusion as well. It, it, because we draw it smaller, it makes it look like it's further away. Anyway, stop talking. So the iris, just here, like so, and then his pupil in there, colored in black, like so. And then the eyebrow, so it's fairly vertical as well, so it goes like up this way. Goes underneath his hair, so we can't see all of it up here, but we'll, we'll draw it in. We'll, we'll sort of imagine. And then this comes down like so, and it's dark here. Okay, so you'll see we're on the horizontal, it's going up, and it's smaller than this eyebrow as well. So then his nose will come down from here, right? So we just have a little line for his nose just coming down this way. Diagonal this way. And then the bridge of his nose here. And then the tip of his nose cur sort of curves around and down, like so. And he can have sort of hatching lines on his nostril, on his nose there. And sometimes, so, and sometimes in Demon Slayer, there's a gap in between those lines, you know, they don't draw in the tip of the nose, but you can if you want. Nostril just there. And then his mouth. So his mouth is kind of subtle, kind of tricky. So curve line there. Goes up for the corner and then down. Okay. That's the top lip. And then we're gonna just like bring it down the side. A little bit here. And then we go down for the bottom lip. Like so. Bring this maybe a bit further. Right, so kind of tricky sort of mouth to draw. We've got a short side and a long side. That's the main thing to remember. This is the long side. You know, same as the big eye. We've got a big side of his mouth and then a short side here. Center line for his face sort of runs down this way. And then we have the shadow underneath his chin, like on his chin for his bottom lip. In Demon Slayer, it's drawn in as a kind of a little triangle like that. And then his chin, just down here, curves around and goes up for his jaw. Okay. So his jaw will go that way, but it goes underneath his hair, so we can't really see it. So we just stop here, to underneath the inside of his eye. And then we'll do his cheek. So in three quarter pose, you gotta do the cheek and then the side of the face. You can't see the jaw really. Like so, and then this comes up a little bit further, just up towards the bottom of his eye there. Right, so then hair. So we've got like fringe that comes across his eye just here, okay? So it's like a, a spike that comes across his hair. Like that, and if you go over any parts of his eye, you can just erase them. I think we should see an eyelid line or something. Bit of an eyelid line or something in there. And then we got another spike here, down the front. And this will go back that way. And then this one will come down across his eyebrow. So, and then back 
here. And if we go over any lines, we can just erase them. And then the eye, the rest of the hair comes over the eyebrow this way. And this sticks out across his face. And it'll go back in, up, like so. And then more hair spikes coming down this way. Here, and then up to there. And this comes down. And then this comes up around to here. Very particular sort of hair on this guy now. So take your time. Like so. And like the hair on this side then goes in behind his shoulder here. So we'll do like the fringe that comes out the front and then down the back. And then we'll do this shoulder and stuff like that. So we'll just come back over to this side and we'll do See, there's like a big long spike here. Sticking out that way. And then this one goes up this way. And this comes up and into his head somewhere here. So. Here and like down to there, just over his eye. Like so, and then we, so there's like, there's all black sections inside that, but we'll, we'll do the rest of the hair over here first. So let's see. Here and then like so. This comes out to there. Like so, right? And then bring that down. And then this goes diagonal. And then this comes down like so. One. And then there's one behind here. Uh, right, so then the back of his head comes out here, right? So we got like a couple of bumps. This comes out like so, down. Like so, and then we got like a spike here. Then a smaller one there comes in. Then like this one goes down. So this, these are the ones now that go in behind his shoulder. Okay, so you can't really see much of that. So, so we just do some lines, and if we then we'll add the shoulder, and if we need to erase anything, we can. So a couple of hair spikes over here as well. Sticking out the front. So one, two, three, okay. And I'll just raise the lines we shouldn't see for his eyes. Okay, so. Like his shoulder and his cloak and stuff, right? So his kimono, right? So this comes down pretty straight down like here, okay? And then the shoulder, let's see, it's kind of tricky now. So this one, so there's a line that comes across here. Right, and then 
next line. So these are all like folds for his clothing, I think. So that comes up and into there. And then there's another one that kind of comes out from here as well. And then the big shoulder line. So that's line. Comes out here. Right, roughly like that. I think we got like another hair spike here. And a shoulder line there. And so this line was too long, I'll just erase that. And then some of his ponytail sticking out here from the back. Okay, right. So then the rest of his clothing, so we can see some of his neck just coming down here. And then the front of his collar comes down that way. And then it kind of curves around back behind his clothing. Then the top of that collar comes around here. And then we'll bring this down. And this has like extra lines on the inside. Like so. We should see some of the collar maybe going back that way. And there's a bit of a shadow underneath his chin. So this comes around there. And then we got a line coming out here and then the front of his jacket or you know uniform comes down the front. A button, a couple of fold lines, like so. And then his the other side of his kimono, the sort of purple side. So that will Come out from his chin, come out that way, and then go down. And then we can just see some fold lines and things going around his shoulder, just there. Line going up that way, in, down that way. So that's like going up for his arm. That way, right. And now, so he's got like a big purple red sort of sleeve that comes out here, okay? So, let's say, so it comes out from the top of his head like here, right? So it's like, it's real big. It comes out here and then, Should curve down this way somewhere. So it'll come down like so. This, and then there's like some more four lines and things. So like. So this comes down into there. And then next one this comes out down into there right and then we have another fold just here like so all right so then his arm comes out of here 
So you can just see the end of his sleeve. Just like this sort of box like rectangle sort of shape here. And then he's got a white sleeve that sticks out of that. Like, like so. Right. So his hand is holding his sword, which comes down this way. So. Right. So we'll do we'll do the hand first, right? So. So it kind of comes out of his sleeve here. And then go up, sort of bumping around. Like that. So that's like a little finger. And then you've got like a knuckle here, knuckle here. A tiny little knuckle there. And then this meets the hilt of his sword. So it's like a diamond or something. Comes down here. Like that. And then this goes up underneath the bottom of his blade, back that way, and then his thumb comes out around up to here and then his wrist will go in there and then we got like some more finger lines and stuff so like just roughly sort of what we can see of them just like coming out here like so and this then comes out down like that. Okay, right. So then his blade, right? So his blade is going to like curve down this way. So we've got like we've got like the end of it going in here. So it's going to go like into this, and then it curves around, right? There, and then this side comes out here. So now it's kind of, it's curved, it's not straight, right? So it's gonna like curve out, right? And we're gonna try and join it up. You can use a ruler if you wanna like, keep, if you want it to be straight, you know, you could use a ruler to bring it from there to there. But you can see it's a curved line now. See when I put my ruler beside it? So we want it to be sort of curved. That's what we're aiming for, okay? But if that's too challenging, you know, you could do it straight. So like that, I made a little mistake there, so I'll just erase that. Okay, so I like that arc. That's not too bad. So we'll try and get down to the other side now. So it like comes out from here and we're gonna curve it down to maybe there. So you'll see it gets it kind of gets wider as it comes down here as well, because you know it's coming towards us. So yeah, we'll roughly just Like so, and try and get down here. You know, you could sketch it in sort of lightly first. And then sort of like thicken it up, you know, if you're happy with it. So I don't like that bump up there. So for things like this, it is, you know, it is quite challenging, but 
you know, if you take your time, use a pencil. Like so. And I just have, oh, it's dry now. Okay, not bad. So, so we just gotta do, there's an extra edge line on this, right? So you'll just do this again. And you can just follow the line you just did. So it's a bit easier because you've done the hard work, you know. So there's like an edge line there. And then there's like a line that separates the blue, the blue line of his blade. From the black there. And then we've got um, an extra sort of edge line around. Here's the hilt of his sword, like a couple, I think. So like this comes out, and you can see the edge. Then sort of like that kind of stuff. And then I think there's like silver on the edge of the sword. kind of there somewhere. Like so. Right, what's next? Right, so water breathing forms. Let's try, for, go for this. Well, how, how long is the video? 28 minutes. Okay, we'll add some, right? We'll add a little bit. So let's see. So we got like, oh, the handle of his sword first. Nearly forgot that. So it comes out here. Like so, and then bring it around to there. It's got like a red end on this. And then like a line going up the side. And then we got like some diamonds. Okay. Um, right, so you might have to go over some of your sword, you know, if you wanted to do some water breathing forms. So, um, right. uh, it's not, not easy, so. <laughs> right, we'll just go. So coming out from his sword, we'll go down to here, okay? And then this has like some spikes sticking off. And then this comes down like so. And then so. I'll just add the basics, right? So like just sort of these sorts of spirally sort of shapes like this. Right, these clouds. And if you go over the sword, sword, we'll have to erase some, so this comes up, down, it's a lot of these little cloudy sorts of water shapes. So you can kind of, it doesn't have to be like exactly like the way I'm doing it. You can kind of make it up as you go. So. You know, there's like little tufts of water and foam, I guess. All coming out from here. 
They're like little clouds. Well, that's what they look like to me in here. So you got this arc going on with little sorts of puffs of water coming up around it. So there is like there's crazy amounts of this now in the image I'm drawn from. I won't do it all. I'll do one just to give you sort of the idea. And you know, we'll have to erase some of the swords. So like the other side of this water breathing comes down this way. edge lines are quite thick. And then like, more just like in the air, sort of around us. So I'll just erase this line for the sword now because you can't see that underneath the, the water. Maybe like another sort of spiral one coming down this way, another sort of blue form coming down that way, it comes out from behind here goes underneath his clothing, up that way, and then it will sort of spiral around, and we'll put it behind his sword. We won't have to raise another piece of sword, so it just goes like back under there. And there's all like foam and I know this is kind of tedious, probably really boring. I doubt there's many people. I'd say a lot of people would finish just with the sword, but just for anyone who feels the need to to do this kind of stuff, I might as well just do what I can for those people. All right, so. So then, black lines coming down here as well, all over this, all over this sort of water, sort of twisted water kind of form. Coming down, so 
this will go up where will this go this will go and it's got like lots of sort of water on it here is taking longer than I thought <laughs> so we'll go do what we can just So there's not much you can do in the way of description now. I'm just adding like as much sort of foam. Like these these are the two main sort of snaking tubes right here. And they'll be blue when I color things. So, so it's hard to describe sort of what I'm doing. I'm just sort of building up layers of foam and... Just sort of adding it as I go, as I see it, you know. There is lots and lots and lots. And so. I'm just going to sort of add whatever I can. And then this comes, this should come out this side up here somewhere and then we've got one comes down here you know lots of these sorts of and it's all different it's all different streaks of blue and white and dark blue and stuff like that on the inside there We're just sort of dividing up this sort of tube thing. So there is way more of this now um, in the image I'm drawn from. But I don't want to bore you guys too much. Um, so I'll leave it like that, right? And you can add as much more, you know, as you'd like. I don't want to stop, but the video would be crazy long because I still have to do the pattern on his sort of sleeve All right so he's got these cubes on his sleeve so I'll leave the water bending stuff over there for the time being and then we'll add these um, lines and patterns on his sleeve so we've got like a box here and then this comes down down like so and then this comes out down, down, down. So this is tricky as well I'm sure there's like no one following 
along right now, but I'll still do it because I can't. I can't leave it not drawn in, you know? It's part of the character, so. Like so. Is there anyone who got this far? I would love to know. Lines there like that. And we got like another sort of cube area here. This comes down like so. If you have got this far, you are talented, I must say. Right, now you got like top of his shirt here, and then there's like a line goes straight down there. And then you got like a cube here. And then this goes down up to there. This goes up to there. And then this comes down like so. And then this is broken up. So, and then this comes out, down, this one comes out and in, and then this goes out and down, Oop. that should be straighter, like so, and then we got diagonal line going that way, and then there is lines broken up in this section. You can probably hear my son in the background. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, okay, I'm gonna try and get this finished now. And more here, so. Man, this is complicated. So this comes to there. Down, up, down to there, and then this goes like straight down, like so. So they're like these cubes, right? But they're all like twisted. To there, down to there, down to there, up to there. I suppose this will make much more sense when I'm when I have them sort of coloured. side, a diagonal line that way, that side, that side, down, there. Ain't nobody got time for this. <laughs> Who's watching this? Is this good content? <laughs> And then we, he has got a pocket just here and maybe like a full line coming up around the side of his shirt just here as well. That's it. Phew. Just add some water foam just back here. But that's how to draw Tomioka Gayu from Demon Slayer using his water breathing form. Sometimes you can thicken up these edge lines in Demon Slayer, but... I'm pretty much out of time, so I will leave it there. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.
Bye.